Today we're going to be using strip diagrams to solve problems. We're going to start with this story problem. Yesterday, 65,231 people watched the Astros play. Today, 6,701 fewer people watched the Astros play. How many people watch the Astros play today? Now, a strip diagram is just a way for us to organize the information for, from our problem. So the first thing I want to do is see what kind of information I've been given. As I look back into my problem, I can see that they are telling me how many people watched the game yesterday, 65,231. It also lets me know that today, 6,701 fewer people watch the Astros play. So we want to know how many people actually played, or sorry, watch the Astros play today. So in order to create a strip diagram, you want to take a look at the size of the numbers because the strip should actually match the size of the number. Our first number is quite large, so I'm going to make my first strip, and that's going to represent 65,231, which is the amount of people that watched the game yesterday. Now, I don't know how many people watch today, but I do know that it was 6,701 fewer people than yesterday. So I'm going to take this small area right here and make a little bracket. It's basically like saying this is the difference between yesterday and today. And they actually give us that amount, 6,701. So we're looking to fill this strip here. And that's going to represent the number of people that watch the Astros play today. We can use a variable to represent that number. And so since we're looking for the amount of people, we can have that represented with a P. Now we're going to come and create an equation to match what we have put in our strip diagram. We know that we're looking for the difference between yesterday and today. We also know that the difference is the answer to a subtraction problem. So that gave us a little hint about what operation we're going to use. So for my equation, I'm going to take the amount of people from yesterday and I'm going to subtract 6,701 from that amount. And that is going to represent P, the number of people that watch the Astros play today. Now, in order to actually solve for P, we're going to come over to the side and use the standard algorithm for subtraction. It's very important to line your numbers up carefully when you're subtracting because about 95% of the time, subtraction in fourth grade is going to include regrouping. So we want to keep everything neat and organized and make sure that our numbers are lined up properly. In my class, we like to put a placeholder in any empty spots just to help us keep our numbers aligned. So we're going to come down to the ones place and we're going to start subtracting. 1 minus 1 is 0. 3 minus 0 is 3. We can't take 7 from 2, so we're going to do some regrouping here. 12 minus 7 is 5. We can't take 6 from 4, so we're going to regroup again. 14 minus 6 is 8. And 5 minus 0 is 5. So 58,000... 530 is going to represent P, which is the number of people who watch the Astros play today. So that is where we would place our answer, right here in this box. So that is how we use a strip diagram to solve 
a subtraction problem. Thank you for watching.